They are football's first family, and they have teamed up together not to win Super Bowls this time, but to write a children's book. Archie Manning and two of his sons, Peyton and Eli, are the authors of Family Huddle. Peyton is in Indianapolis this morning, and Eli is right here on the plaza with us. Good morning, guys. Good morning. All right, so Peyton's the big brother, right? Did he just, was he merciless? Did he pick on you? How horrible was it growing up with him (laughs) as an older brother? You know, um... When I was young, he was a little tough on me. You know, yeah. he, we have the oldest brother, Cooper, used to pick on him. So when I came along, he needed someone to pick on. But uh, over the exactly. years, he, he's, exactly. become, he's become a, a better big brother uh, over the years. And, and now I couldn't have asked for a better uh, big brother. Oh, that! Well, how sweet is that? All right, now, Peyton, is that the way you saw it? Was was this a, a you were bent, was this tough love on your part, or were you just picking on him well, to pick on him? Well, being the middle child, like he said, my older brother, Cooper. Uh, naturally did the the normal older brother things to me. He picked on me and uh, tried to tough me up. So I thought it was only, uh, I thought it was very important for me to pass those same uh, <laughs> points of emphasis on to my little brother, Eli. And, you know, and look where he is today. He's the quarterback of the New York Giants. So, uh, uh, but no, I, I think it was important. My, my parents were always stressed to us that it was important for all three of us to get along. Me and Cooper and Eli mm-hmm. always got along as kids. We still get along today. and. Um, that's kind of what this book is really about. Well, this is a very, very sweet book, and it's really about um, a kind of a family trip and you kid, guys, guys playing football, and you're not going to believe the clip we've dug up. Take a look at this. Uh-oh. Did you know we had that? I, I've, I've seen that before. You've seen you know, that before? He still says that a lot. I see it in games. He's saying, you can't grab by the net. <laughs> Baden, talk a little bit about uh, the purpose of this book and how it's going to be distributed to so many kids all over the country. Well, the book was obviously fun for our family to do, kind of talking about our old days growing up uh, in Louisiana and Mississippi, and it involves our grandparents and just a family trip. But but the bigger idea behind it is going to it's going to target um, kind of underprivileged kids, children in need. We're going to donate a million books through Scholastic Books and through our charities to children who don't have life easy and children who need these books. And uh, there's kind of a challenge to uh, to a program called Classrooms Care, and the idea is to get classrooms to read a hundred books, and that's going to trigger this charity initiative of donating a million books to children in need. So that's really uh, sort of the main purpose yeah. behind doing this. Eli, I don't want to put you on the spot, but you guys could have done a children's book and you could have cashed in big time. This is sort of the opposite of this. Why? Well, I think uh, it's just important getting children to read. That, that's what we want to do. And, um, you know, we want to do a children's book, and uh, but really the, the, the charity part of it and giving back. And uh, I think we're, right. we're teaching kids the, the importance of reading, but also the importance of giving back. And really the kids, by them uh, reading 100 books in their classroom, they're the ones that are going to uh, really be giving back uh, in a way to, to different kids who are in need. All right. Who was the big reader in your house? Um, you know, we all, my, my, my parents are both big readers and they really expressed to us the importance of, of reading. So from an early age, they, um, you know, they were reading to us when we were kids and still to this day, uh, Peyton and I are still, and my brother Cooper are all big readers. And Peyton, you know, we've got a couple hundred uh, Pop Warner kids out here. They, they all want to be, well, they all want to be Eli. They don't want to be you anymore. Of course. Uh, <laughs> I understand. I understand. But what would be the larger message? Because they, these kids think they're going to play professional football. How much more important is it to hit the books than it is to, to, yeah. to have fun while they're doing what they're doing? But they've got to hit these books. Sure, you've got, you got to read. And uh, your education is so important um, from a young age and getting off to a, to a great start. And, uh, you know, I think uh, athletics and sports are important in building character and hard work. But a lot of those things carry on to, into schools and doing your schoolwork and learning to read. And, um, you know, I think uh, that, that's so important in, in a child's life. All right, football season starts this week. And, Peyton, what's your record going to be when it's all said and done? Well, we're excited about the start. Everybody uh, feels like they have a chance to win the whole thing here in week one. But uh, got a tough schedule. Uh, it's truly one week at a time. I'm only going one week at a time. We've got Jacksonville this Sunday. That's all we're worried about. Hopefully we can get off uh, the season on the right note. There you go. And I have a feeling we'll see that game on CBS. Eli, how about you? Oh, we got where, Washington. Where are you going to be come 
Miami in February? Well, uh, hopefully in Miami. So uh, that's, uh, you know, again, but it starts this week. We got a, uh, the big, big game versus Washington at home. And, uh, you know, I think everybody's just looking forward to uh, getting the season started. That's, uh, that's what we're excited about. You gotcha. Family Huddle is the name of the book. Peyton, Eli, and uh, Dad Archie involved here, too. Great little uh, piece of work and a wonderful uh, act on your family's part. Great to have you all with us this morning. Thank you. Thanks.